Uh, good evening, Prime Minister. Uh, namaste. Uh, my name is Om Desai. I'm a first year student at Columbia College studying political science and economics. Uh, my question for you is this. I'm the son of two hardworking Indian American uh, parents. They immigrated from India to the United States almost 30 years ago. And they've always spoke fondly of the relationship between India and Nepal. Our two countries share a very unique brotherhood, very um, religiously, culturally, and geopolitically. Recently, I know you met with Prime Minister Modi in New York and discussed issues on energy, trade, and more. And so my question for you is this. In the context of the 2015 um, blockade and also your uh, new and growing relationship with India, how can we best preserve the relationship and create a dynamic relationship between our two countries that evolves with the 20, 21st century and respects the sovereignties and interests of both of our countries in the region? Hi, I'm Melissa. I'm from the Graduate School of Education, Psychology and Health. And I just wanted to ask the Prime Minister with the discussion of democracy and peace, why Nepal decided to abstain at the United Nations General Assembly on the demands of ending the Israeli occupation in Palestine while other South Asian nations voted in favor. Okay. Mm. One more question over here. Hi, Prime Minister. My name is Desmond Kuhn. I am a freshman at Columbia College. And my question is about your neighbor. You were mentioning earlier about how you can't necessarily change your neighbor, so you have to deal with them. So your neighbor China has engaged in more border disputes in recent history. The New York Times reported that according to satellite imagery, China has been building more villages inside what would many would consider to be Bhutan, alongside sending more warships and building more islands in the South China Sea and what many in the international community to believe not to be China's territory. What are your thoughts on China's current exertion of authority on other nations near and around Nepal? Thank you. Two of them are a continuation of the first one, how you deal with India and China. And the other one is, what is your position on an international issue? So I leave it to you. International issue particularly Palestine, Gaza, in the sense yeah. of voting. We are always in favor of peace. We are from the birthplace of Lord Buddha and the fountain of uh, Buddhism. Everybody knows that. And uh, by history, we were always in favor of peace. And Nepal is a very peaceful country. And our ideology is peace, harmony, compassion, tolerance, coexistence, that is our ideology. So, the basic of our foreign policy, we determine that, we coined that, friendship with all, enmity with none. That is our fundamental foreign policy. Uh, so, on the questions of uh, Wars, conflict, and um, violences are such things in different parts of the world, like uh, Russia, Ukraine, war. We are not in favor of war, and we, we are a neutral country. We are non-aligned country. We are between two giant neighbors. We want to be very good neighbor, not bad neighbor. We don't want to create problems for our neighbors too. We don't want. Similarly, we don't, uh, never, we, we do not tilt to this or that side, but we want peace genuinely. We pray, we talk, we request, and we make efforts too, according to our capacity, uh, in favor of peace, global peace. We are in favor of disarmament, of course. Construction of this type of uh, weapons and others, we are not in that favor, but we are in favor of. Now we have to abolish mass weapons of mass destruction. That is our desire, because weapons are not made for to kill the flies or mosquitoes. Weapons are made for what we know. 
So weapons are never matched with the humanitarian feeling and the ultimate desire and aims and goals and such things of human beings. Now we are seeing Israel and Hamas. Hamas attacked Israel. That was not a good thing. It was bad. But in, in that name, in that prediction, Israel is again destroying the innocent children, innocent old age people who are not involved in war, who are not criminal, and the patients in the hospital who had no crime. They are being killed. So we are in favor of peace, not against anybody. Against war, in favor of peace, we are. And the relationship with India, as I mentioned before too, we want to be very good neighbor, not bad neighbor. We cannot think against our neighbors. And anything bad for them, we cannot think like that. We are always in favor of peace inside any country, inside any region, and globally. We are always in favor of peace worldwide, everywhere. And we want to, we have very long history of friendship with our neighbors. Not after the history was written, but before the history, we had very friendly people-to-people -people relations when there was no diplomacy was developed. At that time too, people-to-people -people relationship was excellent. And if somebody wants to destroy this friendship between two countries or if we talk about bilateral relationship with different countries, with both of our neighbors, uh, nobody can. The, this friendship is undestroyable. It is lasting. Sometimes, of course, when people live together, they have contradiction. When you have never met anybody, somebody, there cannot be any type of contradiction. Because you don't know him or her. When you don't know him or her, then from where the contradiction comes? When you sleep together, then one may put his or her leg on you. If you sleep on separate bed, no problem of that. If neighbor, something happens, one still, a small girl goes to um, neighbor, she breaks a plate. And the neighbor says, what training you are providing, what uh, education you are providing to your office springs. Your daughter broke my plate. The next day, her son comes this side and breaks another cup. Again, another neighbor says, this type of things happen between the neighbors. So, if neighbors Inside the family, there are always a little bit small problems, but they are not that much serious. And within family, similarly, between the neighbors, there can be small problems too, because they are neighbors. If they were far away, there could not be any problem, but if they are neighbors, there can be. So we have to be responsible and we must understand each other's 
each other's problems. So, in my opinion, there are not that much serious problems which we cannot resolve between our southern neighbor and us, and similarly northern neighbor and us. All both neighbors are. Uh, I must say they are good too.